And then if some more people join in, it would be great. Um, uh, so here's a, um, have your paintings ever been criticized? Um, one of my students, Trishel, is asking about it. Um, yes, they have been criticized. Um, I feel that the critic that really got into myself was one day this person asked me if I ever had thinking you know, of seeing something different than black people. <laughs> he, say, he said it was a little bit offending that he I owe my painting for black people. And I was like, I mean, I paint what I can relate to. I paint what I feel comfortable to, what I like to do. So yeah, criticism is always going to be there. Don't take and which one is going to help you and which one you just have to listen and move on. Yes, yes, agreed. <laughs> you know, if you are genuine, I think there should be uh, not a problem in in a subject in what you paint you um you paint definitely something that you relate and connect it closely right because that's that's what i can paint i mean that's if i don't know something i can paint it so that's why mm -hmm. uh how long does it take for you to create one of your paintings well, for these paintings that were really large, even that I, I was in a kind of rush trying to finish it because of the time that I did my campaign and everything, it took me at least one a month each one. If I have more time, it probably take me more, but it take me two months each. But yeah, uh, it took me like a month for each painting. Okay. Um... Well, you kind of answer when did you uh, first uh, became interested in art? And I understood it became as an offer of the major in college. Right. I, I never knew that I was going I was going to focus on art. I just came because I wanted to be a professional tennis player. And then things just started unfolding. I started questioning my career as a tennis player when I was a sophomore and I started uh, using charcoal. And I started kind of getting motivated to draw people and stuff like that. I was like, okay, I think that I want to do this better. <laughs> <laughs> do you still play tennis? Um, I do. Uh, after I graduate, I play sometimes with my husband, but like I haven't really played. I mean, I kind of miss the actually tournaments and stuff like that. But yeah, I do it sometimes as a recreation when I find a tennis court. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um... Okay, I am still looking through the questions, so give me one second. Mm -hmm. I have one. Yeah, go ahead. I apologize if you covered this um, in your talk, but uh, the question is generally, is basically, um, were there any childhood experiences that influence the work that you make or the fact that you are an artist? Well, Again, well, I paint about black empowerment. And as a child, I was raised in Bogota. Bogota is the capital. And if you go to Bogota, you're going to find a lot of uh, white Hispanics or whatever. So when I was going to school, I was the only one with like dark skin and stuff like that. And I was really insecure. And I faced a lot of those fears, uh, I would say, that by myself. I can tell you what was the first day that I just decided that things were going to change. It just was like a, a thing that was happening during time that I started learning and actually being proud of my culture where I come from. And mm -hmm. I think that it actually happened when I moved to Benedict. When I was living in Benedict and I started missing home and stuff like that, I was like, okay, I, I like what I am. Like I'm missing what I am. And so I guess that that's when I started getting like in, involved in like, culture and black empowerment and stuff like that. And, and then after seeing so many, uh, I would say injustice, not just in the United States, but whatever is happening in my country too. And 
it just motivated me that I actually have a plan whenever when I get millionaire. <laughs> I had the idea of going back home and maybe helping my community somehow, however I can. So that's when I start getting involved in that. In in that actually, that's what I wanted to do, like promote art. I mean, promote black empowerment to my art. Gotcha. And you were painting as a child? No. So again, no. I, I always was just like. You like, started it, that it was business. really funny because I never thought about it. I was just like playing tennis. That's what I wanted to do. I used to draw in my wall, in the walls of my room. But okay. you know, when uh, every new, when in the, uh, when you start the school, then you have new, new, uh, new notebooks. So you have like, a, you have to decorate the first page or whatever. My notebooks were the cutest. Like I have all type of designs on them and drawings. But like, I never thought of something. I just thought, that, oh, I'm good at crafts or something like that. But, yeah. I didn't even really thought that I was going to be adding. You gotcha. see, you see, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what oh. impressed me about this young woman. <laughs> um, what would be your dream project? I got, I feel that I have so many. Uh, one of my dream projects was the ones that I just finished. Uh, and right now I have so many other stuff that I want to think about. So something that I want to paint right now is like what I'm actually trying to right now doing some research about is about mm -hmm. connection with nature. There is a oh. reason why any every time that we're going to oh, what are you doing? oh no, it's my friend and brother are sexy each other. Sorry. Okay. There is a reason why anytime that we're going on vacation or something like that, we want to go to the beach or like the place where all the uh, animals and stuff are and and it's really beautiful for us to see landscapes and stuff. And it is and it's, it's because we have, as humans, we have a connection with nature. And there is a lot in nature that we are not learning from it. And that's what I want to, that's like what my next project I want to be. I want to, I want to push myself because I have never really painted landscapes like that. So I'm into it. I'm, that's the kind of stuff that inspired me to go. Just keep pushing yourself to see what you can do because it's crazy. I feel that. Uh, a lot of people stop themselves for fear, but uh, fear is not there to stop you. Fear is just telling you, hey, this is something new. Uh, this is something that you haven't done before. Maybe you need some more information. So it is, it's like that. I feel that I'm kind of scared about I have never done this, but that's what I want to do just because I feel scared about it. So I'm going for it. <laughs> So again, uh, some of the questions are repeating here. Um, uh, what, what music uh, could you connect to? Uh, what helps you to inspire it uh, during your work process? Is that the music or something else or? I feel that it's a connection a little bit of everything. Uh, as um, my dad is actually a musician. So I grew up with a lot of music around me. So yeah, music is a good part. Um, but the type of music uh, I like to listen is this, uh, I don't know, has like, I guess, motivational type of music. There's this kind of, I mean, it's a song that is telling you to go for it. Like, yes, keep fighting. And that's the type of music that I've been listening. I listen to all type of music, but when I paint, that's what I like to listen in because it just helped me to keep motivated, to keep going for it. Mm -hmm. What would you give as an advice to uh, uh, young um, African American women as uh, motivation, as women, woman to woman? Woman to woman, I would like to tell them that, uh, again, like block stereotyping, like uh, all these people, like, there's too many people around you around i would say black women telling them how their life needs to be and nobody can actually tell you that you are the only one that can say that and i would say just fight for your dreams i know this is scary and you're going to find a lot of obstacles because it's not going to be easy but uh after a couple of i mean after but just imagine yourself how your life will be if you actually follow your dreams. Like just imagine 
what can happen if they actually happen. Because I understand the fears is like, what if I go for this and then it doesn't happen? But what if it does? We don't even know. Like fear is just an idea of like something that may happen. I mean, we don't know actually what's gonna happen. So just go for it, just try. Like um, you are not alone. We are not alone. There is so many people over there that don't do the stuff because they feel alone. And, and that's not the truth. We are scared to share ourselves because we're scared of judgment. But just read about other people. I always read about like, uh, there is this uh, lady that I follow on Instagram. Uh, her name is Lisa Nichols. I know people have heard about it. It's, she had this amazing, uh, uh, how you say that? She had this amazing conference talking about empowerment. She's a black African-American woman and she has, she's really, her messages are amazing. So just listen to her. There is a lot of women out there that have been going through the same struggles that we are, that we're having and we're facing and we are not alone. So you can do it. If they did it, they're human. You can do it. You're a human too. So we can do that. Mm -hmm. so. Were you um, at this time uh, during your uh, preparation for this show and painting uh, of your painting, were you ever, you said that you were scared, but were you scared of not succeeding? And Yes, I was scared of, I'm not going to finish this on time, or I have never painted this big. What if it doesn't look good? I was scared of like, where is my next page going to come? I was scared of like everything. And it's a really long, I, I, you, it's a point when you get really lonely because you feel nobody really understand what is going on because nobody really understand, it, nobody is you. So you are the only one going through these feelings. And then you're scared of judgment. There was a, I was scared of telling people that I was at it. Like, I still feel like if I go over there and say, oh, what do you do for your life? I'm an artist. I automatically think that they over here in their head saying, she's an artist, like how, how, that, how that works, like for real. So I'll, these fears are everywhere, but then at the same time, I like to, again, listening to uh, people that had actually make it right now, that's what I, find my inspiration. That's what keeps me going. I, I look a lot, I Google a lot of people that actually are making it right now, or they like, yeah, let, yeah let's say that they make it. And I hear today's stories and I see how they went to the similar struggle that I went. But the difference between them and other people is that they didn't give up. It was hard and it's still going. And, and that's what I'm trying to do right now. It's hard and I'm still going because like, like, I don't see myself doing something else later on in life. Uh, this is what I want in my life. And so I'm going for it. <laughs> and and I want to be living proof in a couple of years of that it is possible. So I'm going for it. Somebody has to do it, right? Yes. Yes. Um, anybody else has any questions? I have a few more questions from my students, but does anyone else want to ask a question? Well, I ask a question. I have one. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know if you answered the question already, but what like difficult obstacle do you think um, was the most hardest to overcome? The most difficult, at least for me, was the judgment. I was really scared what people was gonna think about me. Uh, I'm still, I ain't gonna say that I already go over it and I'm good. No, I'm still having some questioning sometimes. But again, anytime that that happens to me, I just keep thinking that all of this is just, I blame it on society. Society is the one that got us over here thinking how our life is supposed to be. So judgment, I would say that is the biggest one. You know, like, I don't wanna, I wanna be able to, I don't wanna get, uh, no, I'm scared to get just in like the way how I'm painting. Why are you painting like black people? Or, or why are you painting? Why, why don't you go just find a regular job? Or 
uh, you're not doing good. Like it's just like we always keep comparing ourselves to some of the that some of the people and the other people do the same. They compare us to all the other people. So they have this idea, oh you are artist, so why you not doing these million pennies dollar type of situations, right? So I guess that's the biggest thing that I have been facing. I'm still facing it's judgment. Like to be actually to be confident on myself and just uh, keep moving forward with that confidence. Um, if anybody wants to ask a question, because I have a few more to ask, uh, let me see. I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. So I was wondering, is there a group of artists that you, you, you count as a peer group, like an artist collective that you work with? Someone that you can, you can bounce your ideas off of, not just for a critique, but for you know, camaraderie, friendship? Uh, I actually, I don't. And I wish I had one. I have a couple of, of friends uh, that I met through some of the people that come, went to my show, whatever, that I met some people that were paying in the same time. And I got just like, like one or two people that I can talk to are like that. But no, I don't have no community. And actually, I would love to find one. Gotcha. And that would be great because that would be a great motivation. Like, there is sometimes some situations when I'm painting that I have some questions and I really don't have nobody to help me. I mean, I have to figure out myself, but nobody else do art. Oh, I don't know nobody else that do art. Yeah. Well, no, I don't, but I wish I had. And you're in Macon. Yeah, well, I yes, I was in Macon. I just moved back. I moved to Jonesboro, Georgia. It's I know plenty of people in Jonesboro. I'll, I'll try to hook it with some folks. I'm from Monroe, Georgia. Oh, for real, that would be great. That would be great. <laughs> so I know more than a handful of people in, in Jonesboro. One of my friends from uh, from undergrad lives in Jonesboro. So I'll find you some people to to kick it with. OK, great. Thank you. That's You're welcome. <laughs> OK, I have quickly uh, one more question. Do you have any artists, um, uh, especially what painters in African-American community do you think inspired you most? Do you have some influences? Right. Um, that's one of the things that I have been finding like a lot of trouble finding. Um, before we all know about Basquiat, uh, that's like the main African American uh, artist that I know. Mm -hmm. um, but and I follow on Instagram about a couple of different artists. I don't know how recognized they are by the African uh, descendant African Americans, so I follow them. But I feel that um, there is a lot of artists over there that they don't gain the recognition that they deserve. And I would love to be one day with one of these uh, Afro-descendant artists that black people, African, oh, Afro-descendant people can look up to. Because uh, I would, right now, I would love to find more people <laughs> that do, more African-descendant people that do art. So even that I have a lot on Instagram that I follow and this stuff, but I would like them to be more recognized than what they actually get more recognition than the one that they have right now. I also have a couple of groups that I follow, so uh, I will send you links. All right, great. Well, I thank you everything. Yeah, I, yeah. I thank you. And if you would have a, a perfect show right now, what location, what place would it be? Perfect show right now. I mean, I'm, I kind of gonna go. I think that I will do some um, art Basel. That would be great if I can do art Basel, Miami, and be over there and do artists. That would be the best thing that we can happen to me. <laughs> That's one of my goals. Huh? I wanna be one one of those shows. Very cool. It's it's very ambitious goals too. <laughs> yes, I mean that's why we had to aim big. So because like, what's the point of just aim? I mean, of course, it's, I don't have nothing but with local uh, galleries. I think that they help to the community, so it's great. But mm -hmm. if I can aim to be like international recognized, yes, I mean, the sky is the limit. <laughs> oh my God, it's so wonderful to hear such a, um, uh, it's not only ambitious, but uh, good, uh, proud goals. It, it's amazing to hear this from such a young person too. <laughs> you know, um, anyone else, uh, any last questions?
Well, Miss Person, it's pleasure to meet you. And it was such a nice treat to, um, to hear your story and to uh, we will be following your success and cheering for you and helping you so you can you can rely on us as your part of your community now <laughs> all right i want to say thank you for the opportunity i mean how i said before i want to empower black people with my art and if i can speak on these platforms as many as i can that would be great that's part of what i want to do so I'm more than happy on being here. And yes, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and keep you updated. <laughs> That's it. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Stay safe over there. <laughs> okay. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye.